Tell us, you know, tell us right now, Mr. Mr. Man. Tell us, man. What is up with this new album? Tell us, man. Ah, uh, man, new album, Bright Lights, Magic City. Uh, man, it's something the Lord gave me uh, a couple years back, about two years ago. He gave it to me in a dream. Literally woke me up, nice. sat down, and wrote it all down, man, from beginning to end. How the cover, everything. Right, wow. right. And uh, it's pretty much, man. Uh, the, and, and you know, in a nutshell, is um. Uh, the world's trying to tell us what we need to, to be, man, how we need to dress, how we need, uh, what we need to do, right. what kind of car we need to buy, what kind of uh, crib you need to live in, you know right. what I'm saying, mm -hmm. what you need to have. Mm. And, and, and if you think about it, man, even as a Christian, man, we're very influenced by the world yeah. and what we do. And, and and what school our kids need to go to, how we need to raise our kids at times, yeah. you know what I'm saying, with TV shows and stuff like that. So the Lord showed it to me like that is that was the bright lights. Mm -hmm. And in order to, to do that, man, we need to block them, man, and really look at the real light. Because right. right. the world cool. is trying to be that light that Christ mm -hmm. is trying to be. They're trying to outshine the real light. You right. Right. So that's the whole portion of bright lights. And the Magic City is pretty much what they call Miami. Right. You know what I mean? But in reality, it's much bigger than that. It's, it could be, you know, bright lights, L.A. Right. Bright lights, uh, Watts, right. you know, right. bright lights, Compton. Right. It's whatever your city is and those bright lights trying to outshine your city. Right. So obviously I'm from Miami, I call the Ma Magic City. So that's pretty much the whole theme of the album. That's the deal, man. That's some preaching right there about right. the yeah. album. Yeah. 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 Going on, Absolutely. That's Necessary. That's I, I have a similar story. International, I think I woke up with some indigestion and heartburn. That was RJ Moore. I ran for Modium AD, brother. He said this had nothing to do with spirituality. Nothing to do with indigestion. I was looking for that pesto. You want that pesto? Yeah, man. So, GG, man, tell us about the the production, like you know, features on there. You know, who you got featured on there, songs and everything, man. Yeah, man. Well, we got some pretty top notch, man. Some of the biggest producers right now, man, in Christian hip hop. My man, G Styles, as y'all know, has done stuff for Lecrae, Trick Lee. Uh, Show Baraka uh, and whatnot, right. and um, we got my man K Drama on there. I'm out. Yeah, yeah. K Drama, big exactly. My man is a K Drama. Air Jordan on him. Air Jordan on him, man. Yeah. All day. Good brother. Um, who else we got, man? We got uh, Juice 2020 out of Jacksonville. Ooh. That's my man. That's a big yeah. time producer. He's done stuff for R Swift right. um, and whatnot. And y'all got to check him out, man. Okay. This stuff on the Mark J's new album. Right. Every day. Wow. Yeah, Wells' album. Wells' album, the Tonic album, album, the, tonic yeah. album yeah. the new one. Um, and uh, my man from down south. G Rock out of the Beat Mechanics. G Rock. Crazy okay. producer. But, but hold up. G Rock needs this little section. Okay. G Rock yeah, man. is being just, I think the Lord just shown, just move the clouds and right. put a little beam on that dude because he's murking it right wow. now. Wow. That guy has a special anointing. Yes. He's, 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 G Rock. G Rock. G Rock. Yes, out of Miami. Oh, my dude is killing it. And uh, he's going hard right now. That's awesome. Praise God. You guys got to check him out, man. You got to. Yeah, he's a part of our family, man. So, yeah, that's what I was going to Say, do I have to change my name to G Day? Yeah. To, to be part of the family? I mean, if I go to Miami, I'm a touchdown. It's gonna be a, a little short man with a hat. G Day. G Day. No? Yeah? Nah, I don't know. But that's awesome. All right, well, look him up. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, so, so, G, tell us a little bit more, man. What were some of your influences? What are some of the artists that influenced you as a, as a youngster, as a shorty yeah. man? You were coming up. Some of the some of the vibes, some of the songs, some of the albums. Tell us something about it. All right, well, um, yeah. first and foremost, man, I, I'm an immigrant, man. I came here when I was six years old. Right. Okay. And I ain't know one ounce of English. Mm. And I grew up in the hood, man. Opelika, mm. North Miami, Kansas City. All those spots right there in Miami. Right. And, uh, and I had to... Uh, my, Best friend, man, DeAndre. You know what I mean? He just grabbed me. He, I didn't know what he, the egg was saying. Took me to his huh. to his house and just put on some Carers one, and that's how I learned how to speak English. Wow! wow. All that from hip hop. Look one. at that. From tapes and vinyl, man. Dude. That's no so, joke, right there. So if you you know, hip hop has been influenced since I got here into this country. Right, right. right. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So and that's how I learned how to speak English, man. Carers one to me probably has to be the biggest influence because I, I I grew up listening to that guy. That's amazing. To to learn English, man. And right. then obviously in the secular, it was you know. Uh, not knowing Christ and whatnot, it was a bunch of people. Nas, you know what I'm saying, uh, right. Third Base, you know what I'm saying, Boogie Down. Everybody, you know what I'm saying. Uh, the and I, I can't Foundation. front, I am from Miami, man. I was a big, you know, Two Live Crew fan. Oh, no! Uh, <laughs> I ain't going for a man. I'm keeping Chop it. That was BC. That was before Christ, though. Yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, listen, listen. For all the pastors, call it in. Right, right. 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 Chill out. Listen, chill out. Chill out. Right. Not no more. Talking yeah. about the <laughs> nah, 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 that's right. <laughs> Yo, he's dancing right now. Hold up. Shake with your whole
and he's saying that while he's doing the Wu Tang. <laughs> That is too yeah, funny. Looking at that, man. Underground, underground Blaze. Tell us a little bit about the heart, the soul, the mentality, the kind of the vision behind your record label, Underground Blaze Records. Um, again, the Lord gave to me Underground Blaze Record in a dream. Right. Uh, I'm very big on the Lord speaking Joseph. to me through dreams, man. Right. And. Uh, and he gave it to me in a green, in a dream, and it's kind of funny because it says underground blaze, right. uh, you know, underground hip hop type thing. Because I believe that Christian hip hop is the underground, no matter what. Right. Yeah. Uh, whether you're really doing hip hop or you're doing some of that pop or whatever yeah. the case right. may be, yeah. I believe Christian hip hop is underground. Right. And if you look at our music, it has nothing to do with hip hop, man. We, we're very, uh, we're very, uh, very polish. You know, <laughs> Miami right. sounded so. Um, the Lord just really, pretty much just gave me that vision as as a label man to to bring cats who were just like me, man. They didn't want to even hear nothing about the Lord, man. Mm. And, and just pretty much going out to the streets, doing a lot of outreaches. And um, to a lot of kids who are in church, man, they, they think they have to compromise right. just so they could be cool or just right, so they right. could listen to some Very good music. Important. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So that, that's pretty much the vision behind the whole label, man. What? Good music and, and preach Christ, man. Absolutely. Right. Man. That's what's happening. Yeah, yeah, what would, yeah, man. What would you say the response has been for, for, from the, the public, mm -hmm. from the people in Miami, man, and even worldwide as y'all been touring while you've been doing your thing on this right. release, man? Tell us, man. What has the response been for y'all? Uh, response as far as South Florida, man, has been huge. I mean, honestly, we... I feel like South Florida is so advanced in music. Uh, a lot of people didn't know about what we're doing. We've been doing this music for years, man. Okay. And, and and especially um, in South Florida is a huge movement. I mean, more could tell you there's shows popping uh, every mm. every weekend. Uh, it's very very big. And and honestly, it hasn't been till till um, maybe in the last year or so that that really people are, are are starting to see what we've been doing. You know what I mean? Right, what, right. what we've had. In South Florida, man, they've they've actually opened their heart, opened their ears to what we got. So uh, the response has been great, man. The South dot com is is Good. loves us. Z and the M, South, yeah, shout out yeah, to, shout to Z and M. Rapzilla too, man. Loves yeah. our music, man. Shout out to Phil out there, man. And, right, man. and but uh, dope, hey, everybody, man. Holy Culture, Trigger, right. and right. an Anonymous. Thank God and for them, them. You know, making yeah, an outlet I, for I, for yes. artists like yourselves. Yes, Thank so, God for them. Yeah, for and real, they, for they real. opened up a lot of doors for us, man. They 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 really yeah. pushing all our stuff, man. And I and I thank yeah. God for them, yo, for real. That's what's up, man. You got like who you got featured as far as artists on your project right now? My project, um, who I got featured, uh. Them and them. I got yeah. them and them. <laughs> them and them. I got G and them. Come on, do you got K drama? Uh, K drama. Uh, I got K drama. Yeah, I got Bruce a couple of Bruce Lawn from the Breaks. Oh, He's on there. Eddie Nigma from uh -huh. State Soccer yeah, from. Uh, yeah. There we got that guy, Teddy Joe P. Justice. Joe Productions. Joe Justice. Teddy, Teddy, yeah, yeah. Teddy P. Is Teddy P. Is man. Yeah. He, did a, he did a. Uh, I think one production on the album, man. Oh, it actually came out. It's actually like my hip hop track on that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Which one? It's the last one. It's the last, one. It's the last track. What's it called? So uh, it's called. Uh, what is it called? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can't forget it, bro. Yeah. 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 Yeah.